Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Git and configure Git with GitHub on your Ubuntu operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, you can open your terminal by pressing Ctrl Alt T and it's going to open your terminal or you can go to this applications section and you will be able to see this terminal icon here. So you can just uh, open terminal from here. Once the terminal is open here, you can verify if Git is installed by just giving Git command here and you will see that it's going to uh, give this kind of output which says command git not found which means git is not installed right so let's try to install git first so you can see it also suggests to install git using this command but before uh, using this command you just need to give uh, this command which is sudo apt update okay and then press enter and give your ubuntu's password and it's going to update all the local package index for Ubuntu. Once that's done, let me clear the terminal. So now let's try to install git by giving sudo apt install git here and then press enter. And if it gives you uh, this kind of output uh, that there are some unmet uh, dependencies then you can fix this by uh, running this com command, right? So just write sudo and then apt fix broken install, okay? So let me run this command with sudo privileges and then press enter and then press y and then press enter and wait for this command to complete. And once this command is complete, let me clear the terminal once again. And once again, I'm going to give this uh, sudo apt install git command and hopefully this time it's going to install git so at this point you can see it's asking me uh, this question which says do you want to continue i will press y and then press enter which is going to continue the installation so once uh, this uh, installation is finished you will see this kind of uh, output and once git is installed you can give this command git hyphen hyphen version and then press enter and you will see the version of git here right so if it outputs the version of git then git is installed on your ubuntu operating system right now there are some initial settings uh, which you can uh, uh, do when you start using git on your ubuntu operating system so let me clear the terminal once again and let me uh, show you those initial settings so you can uh, configure your username and your email using the command git config so just write git config hyphen hyphen global because we want to set these config globally on our ubuntu operating system and then you can just write user dot name and then give your username right and then press enter and this username is set for my git account and then i can even set my email right so let me uh, give this command which is git dot email right and then give your email id here and then your email id is set for now i'm going to just set uh, a random email id and then press enter and the email id is set for git here right now in order to see the global config you can give this command git config once again and then hyphen hyphen list and it's going to give you your global configuration for git so you can see i have set these two values here and i can see uh, both the values uh, in the git config so the git installation is successful now let's uh, move forward and integrate our git account with github so that we can push and pull our repository from git and to git right so i'm going to go to my browser and i'm going to uh, just uh, write github 
dot com and then go to this GitHub website and then I'm going to uh, click on sign in. If you don't have a GitHub account, you can create one very simply and then you can just log in with your account. So I'm going to log in with my account. And once you have signed into your GitHub account, you can create a new uh, repository by clicking on this plus icon and then click on new repository here. Or you can click on this new button from here also and uh, it's going to uh, give you this kind of interface. Now here you can uh, give a name to your repository. So let's say the repository name which I want to give here is hello uh, underscore test for example. And here you can also give some description. Let's say setting up uh, git. Now uh, this uh, repository will be public but you can also create the private repositories. Public means uh, anybody uh, on GitHub can see your repository, which is fine for me. Then I can even initialize a readme file. I can just check this checkbox, which will create a default readme file for me. Also, it can create a dot git ignore file and you can even choose the license. For now, I don't want to do this because I just want to uh, create this repository for the demonstration purposes. Once you are done, you can click on create repository. And once uh, everything is set up, you can see the repository is created here. So once this repository is created, you can uh, click on this uh, repository and clone this repository in your Ubuntu operating system. So you can see I am uh, in my uh, root directory and here I can create a folder. I can uh, name my folder as a workspace for example. So I'm going to just write mkdir and then workspace which is going to create this uh, workspace directory for me. You can create any uh, directory with any name. I'm just uh, creating a random uh, directory in which I'm going to clone this repository, right? Then click on the name of the repository and then click on cl code here and then click on HTTPS and then copy this uh, URL from here. Okay, so this is the URL for your repository. And then on the terminal, Inside your workspace, you just need to give this command git clone and then paste the URL which you have copied, which is this one. In my case, it's uh, my username and then the name of the repository, right? So github.com, the username and the name of the repository dot git. Then press enter, which is going to clone this repository. Once the repository is cloned, you can uh, uh, write ls and you will be able to see this hello underscore test uh, directory, which is the repository which we have cloned, right? Now, if you can see here inside this repository, I have this readme.md file and inside this readme.md file, I have this text here. So hello underscore uh, test and then setting up git. It's there in my readme file, right? So let's see uh, if the same content is there. So I'm going to go to my uh, repository directory. So I'm going to just do cd and then hello underscore test. And I'm going to do ls here. You can see readme.md is here. I can just uh, uh, view the content of uh, readme by just writing cat readme.md and you can see the same content is there. So now uh, let me create a new uh, file for example. I'm going to name my file as uh, hello.py. So I'm going to just write touch and then hello.py. Let's say I want to create a very simple Python script. So this touch command is going to create the file. You can see this file is created. Now I can open this file by uh, using any uh, editor of my choice. I can uh, just use, for example, gedit here, which is the default uh, editor, GUI editor, I should say, which comes with uh, Ubuntu. 
and then the file name which is hello.py and once you give this command it's going to open this hello.py file let me add a very simple uh, uh, python script here and then save this file and then close this file and then let's say i want to uh, just add this file and commit this file and push this file to my repository right so how can i uh, do this so for doing this uh, let me clear this uh, terminal first so here as you can see i have now two files this is the file which i have created and this is the file which uh, comes with the cloning of the uh, repository here on the github repository i don't see this hello.py file but i want to push this file from my local repository to uh, to the remote uh, repository right so in order to uh, do this i need to add this and commit this uh, new file which is uh, the hello.py so to view all the uncommitted file you can give this command which is uh, git uh, status which is going to give you the status of your local repository you can see this file is untracked untracked means it's not tracked by git till now to add this to uh, your git uh, versioning you can write this command which is git add and the name of the file which is uh, hello.py in our case and then press enter and then once again give the git status command and this time you will see this hello.py file in the green uh, color right and it says changes to be committed so we have added this file to the git but we have to commit this file in order to fully uh, make this the part of git right so for this just write git commit and then hyphen m hyphen m is the flag using which you can give any comment to your commit right so that uh, you remember why uh, you uh, added this file or what changes you have made in this file right so i'm going to just say first uh, python code for example right and then press enter this is going to commit your file into git once again give git status and now you can see nothing to commit once you see nothing to commit working tree clean that means all the changes are committed into git now you can push your changes to your master branch or main branch right so in order to push this change to your github repository you can give this command git push origin and then whatever is the branch name in which you want to push right so right now i want to push in this main branch you can see by default this main branch is created right so i will just write origin and then main here right? and then press enter and then it's going to ask you for your github username and password so give your github username and password i'm going to give the github username and password here and now the password and then press enter and you can see uh, this says that support for password authentication was removed on this date please see this uh, thing so you can't any more authenticate with this method now in order to authenticate you need a new kind of method which i'm going to show you so if you're using this kind of method it will uh, not work because it was removed right so go to your github account and here click on your user profile and then click on settings and then on the left hand side go at the very bottom where you see developer settings and then click on personal access tokens you can create a fine grain token which is in beta right now and the token which is classic token right so you can click on uh, classic token and then you can generate a new classic token from here click on uh, generate new token and then click on uh, generate new token which is the classic token you can give any note to uh, your token let's say i am giving uh, 
the note my token here you can choose the expiration date i can uh, just give a custom expiration date i want to expire this uh, token in one or two days so i'm going to just uh, give a very short uh, expiration because i'm doing this for the demonstration purposes you might want to give the expiration for example for 90 days or you can also choose no expiration also then you can select the scope so i can uh, just select all these scopes here so that i can do all the actions uh, using this token right so i'm going to choose all these uh, options here so you can also choose all these options one by one right so you can see i have chosen all the options and then click on generate token and then this is the token which is created right now in my case i can copy this token and uh, save this at uh, some location you can see make sure you copy your personal token you won't be able to uh, see it again right so you need to copy this and paste it somewhere where you can uh, access it again i'm going to paste it on the uh, editor and then you need to edit this command uh, with this token right so the token is this one i'm going to replace this token here in place of token i'm going to give this uh, command in the description of this video so you can also uh, use this uh, command then you need to give the username right so in my case my github username is p knowledge right so i can just uh, open uh, the repository once again and you can see this is the uh, username here and this is the repository name you can copy both of uh, both of them right and then you can uh, replace this and you can replace this here in place of username and repository name so username in my case is uh, p knowledge and the repository name is hello underscore test right let me copy this command here and then paste it inside my repository i'm going to just paste this command and then press enter and now once again i'm going to uh, give the command git push origin main and then press enter and this time you can see my push is successful so once you see this kind of uh, output this means that this new file is pushed into my repository so i can go to my repository you can see previously it only contained uh, rem, uh, readme.md file when i refresh this i can see hello.py file also right so this is how you can uh, install git and configure it with github on your ubuntu operating system i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video